All right, all right, all right. Hello, everyone. <laughs> My name is Mess Sermon, and welcome to today's stream here. We're going to be going ahead and getting things started here. And. Yeah, let's go ahead and kind of just jump right into some things. <clears throat> Last time, we. We pretty much started and got to Cantilave City and I think went through Iron Island. And yeah, in this part we're just going to be taking on the Cantilave Gym and going beyond there. So let's go ahead and get things started. I don't really have a whole lot of announcements, I guess, as far as the streams are concerned, but... I figured it is Easter Good Friday, and I figured might as well try and stream something today, I guess, because it is a day off for a lot of people, and yeah. Um... Do I want to go in with this team here? Crobat's not going to be useful in this gym, I don't think, but... You know what, let's let's stick with this team for now, I guess. Rosie's a little on the high-level side, but... I don't think there's too much wrong with that, I guess. We'll get some good screen time for a lot of our team here. Let's go ahead and take on the Cantilave Gym. Yeah, good to see this puzzle has never changed, <laughs> regardless of whichever game it's been in. To hit a steel type hard. Yeah, that's definitely a good way of wording things. I don't know if using Glade's really the best option for this, but we'll see how things go, I guess. I built Ricky. Mind is immediately racing to make a Trailer Park Boys reference, and I don't really have anything in the back of my mind. <laughs> That's fine, though. Uh, this probably is only going to do about half its life, but that's fine. Yeah. That's Steelix's defense for ya. Probably switch Ponyta in this party for now, but oh, Hellfire Gura got a huge level up from that. I guess it was a Steel XL, so I'm not too surprised. In one level, are you kidding me? Wow. Well, we're immediately... S <laughs> There's a good amalgamation of what's going on tonight. If anyone's just w tuning in here, you're definitely tuning in for something exciting here. <laughs> Hello, Blissey. The... Tank of the tank of the tank of the tank. Oh boy, Blissey, what can be said about this Pokemon? It has an enormous amount of health. Absolutely enormous amount of health. It has higher health than anything on my team, and it's half the level. This is a great Pokemon, and just for that alone, really has a lot of health, it does not take a physical hit to save its life, but it has good special defense, and yeah. Fortunately, I don't think it's going to ever be able to be caught up in the levels until that point, and I guess it doesn't really need the Soothe Bell anymore while I'm thinking about it. 
That's why I had the Soothe Bell on for its evolution, but alright. That's uh, definitely something. Oh man, this el that elevator is way faster than it used to be. Okay, you know what? I can't actually change my Pokemon in the gym. I forgot all about that. Up and down the lifts. Me, I like to battle. Good for you. I also like to battle. I did not mean to go for false swipe there. That was quite the miss miss attack there. I really should switch Empoleon into my party here at some point. Well, I guess a zoom roll probably wouldn't be too bad to have here either. Nice, thank you. There's a crit. Let's get a Zoomerl in here. Oh, and Rose Raid would be good for this as well, admittedly. Let's go, Maryland. Thank you for not having Sturdy. I should note that it has been raining quite a bit all day, but I don't think that's gonna impact anything as far as the stream and the weather would go, so... At least I hope it doesn't anyway. Thank you, Azumarill, with that huge power of yours. Really appreciate that. Ooh, Hydro Pump. That could be interesting. Um, huge power only boosts for physical attacks, but Hydro Pump does still have a lot of power behind it as well. Ugh. I don't really see myself using Aqua Ring a whole lot. Um, yeah, you know what? I don't really like using Aqua Ring too much, especially not in single player, so I think I might just teach Hydro Pump for a little bit. That could help for maybe something like, uh... Some of the Steelixes in this area or something. Okay, that's a dead end. Rhyhorn's probably not the option I should be using for this, but it's an option, regardless. Drill Run was actually doing a lot of damage, though, last time I was using Rhyhorn, so... That... Could probably work. Not bad, and that was the sturdy, I assume. No, I oh no, actually, interesting. That could hurt a little, but nah, not much. Not too bad otherwise. Hailfire grew another level, not bad. It'll be nice once she catches up in the levels, pretty good. Hmm. That was not the way I needed to go. I remember when I Let's Played Platinum, I ran- I- This was like right when Kirby's Return to Dreamland came out, I remember, uh... Like, speeding up all the trainers in this mu in this area, and using, like, one of the final boss themes for, like, a montage thing, and... I get- looking back, that feels like such a... Like... I don't wanna say a douche move to do, but, like, the game had just come out at the time, so... Might have been out for, like, a week or so, maybe, by then, but... 
I don't know, I still probably shouldn't have done that, I guess, looking back. Also, I remember this trainer in Platinum used a Scizor, if I remember right. Scorpy, okay, well this is not the thing I expected you to have. But good for my Rhyhorn, I guess. Can you not hit five times with Pin Missile? Thank you. Ironically enough, I'm using a multi-hit attack myself. Not bad. What's your next Pokemon? Steelix. I want to see how well Azumarill works. Hydro Pump would probably be the stronger attack to use here. Steelix has a lot of physical defense, but Aqua Tail is strong enough to finish it off anyway, so. Oh well. <laughs> Gotta love those Steelix buffs. Experience buffs, I guess I should say, rather. This is nothing if I'm right, yeah. And there should be a trainer here, I think. Yeah. Yeah, sure, I'll keep my horn in. that iron tail there, but I'm gonna hit you just as hard with this drill run attack. <laughs> I'm actually surprised how easily a lot of these Pokemon are going down, but then again, I guess that's just the level difference in general. I know that is kind of like a common criticism this game gets, is just, uh, the level's not really, like, you're, you're often kind of on the high, high end side for a lot of this game. Um, yeah, let's go this way. No, you know what, let's not. I don't think I have enough health to kind of withstand anything here. Talking about judo chops, baby, yeah. I've only been streaming for like 15 minutes, I'm already making a freaking Gex reference here. That's. <laughs> oh, it's one of those days, I guess. Definitely held on there. Oh shoot, that. Okay, that was lucky. Steelix, I do not want to stick in for that.
And let's go for Aqua Tail. Wow, even that was a... I should just not learn to doubt the power of Azumarill. That huge power ability is... <laughs> something fierce. And take that... No. Blissey, you are not a physical attacker at all. Not even close. I don't think most want to be dealing with a takedown that does, like... Okay, now, this trainer I always remember, and I think everyone who's played this game probably remembers this freaking trainer. Because, uh, it's one of those kind of WTF trainers that you wouldn't expect. <laughs> We're in a Steel-type gym. Guess what Pokemon Brianna has? An Azumarill. <laughs> I don't know, like, everyone always pokes fun at this, and I can kind of agree, but I find it kind of hilarious that this Azumarill is in this gym. <laughs> Let's show off Petal Dance for the first time, and certainly not the last, because that is one of Rose Raid's strongest attacks. Definitely stealing ourselves for a hearty battle. That is true. And I think I might actually leave so we can go change up the party. Also, hey, uh, Ardo and Bowie. Don't think I said hi to anyone yet, but hope you guys are doing well today. Yes, I am going all the way around this because. I want to go change my party up around. I, I've always liked this gym, though, and I, I can't really explain why, but I do kind of like the elevator puzzle with it. I always thought it was kind of fun to go through. Uh, yeah, also our uh, Chansey evolved into Blissey here in the first <laughs> battle we had today, which was quite something exciting. Aw, oh, you're in high spirits. That's good to see. Day 9 in my diet and still losing weight. Nice. Hope, hope you keep at that there. I know... I used to diet years ago. Like, probably six years ago now. And unfortunately, I don't think I've done like a very good job, I guess, kind of since then. I did lose weight at one point, but then I've... Have, I just didn't really, I guess, keep up with staying active. Okay, let's see. Empoleon, you're coming to the party. What do I want in my party here? I guess I'll take Entei. And... I guess I'll take... The, the, I'm, realistically, I only really need these Pokemon here for now, so... I guess I'll switch Maryland out for Crobat, just because Crobat is kind of... Low, lower in the level. what anyone says, like, the little messages you can get from your Pokemon following you, that's, like, I think easily the thing that's hardest to dislike about this game. I just, I love the charm of this game, like, I, I know there have been other Pokemon games where your Pokemon could follow you, but I don't feel like I've seen that degree of charm, really, I guess, since this game. I think the Sword and Shield DLC had something like that as well, but... And... 
And if I remember right of the leader's first Pokemon, I think I am going to lead with Ponyta here. You know what? I feel like I've been overdue on this. Let's give Ponyta a move that it was not able to get in its original heyday. Let's teach Ponyta Flamethrower. I feel like we've gone long enough with what it's currently head. Flame Wheel, Flame Charge, and Fire Spin. I'm not using Fire Spin for much of anything else. Yeah, it would be nice for Scarlet and Violet to have more interactions. I'd be all down for that. I'm pretty sure the Sword and Shield DLC had that, because I know it had the Pokemon could follow you. Am I leading with... Ponyta right now? Yeah. We are very high up here. Let's see if I can remember how to do this guy's voice here. <laughs> ah, it's that the Orberg's gym badge. I see a C. You defeated my son. That's no surprise. He still has much to learn in place of my son. I, Byron, will accept your challenge. So I love steel types. All right, let's do this, Byron. Alright, let's try our new move there, Ponyta. Not too bad. Of course, you would set Trick Room up. That could be kind of annoying given what the rest of his team is. Yeah, let's just do this again. Yeah, I saw that coming. Trick Room's a move that reverses the speed stats, basically, so, um, Ponyta's a pretty fast Pokemon, but now I'm going to be going second because of the Trick Room. I thought I used a Floor Store and then a Hyper Potion. gonna go for Flame Wheel at this point. And Sandstorm. Interesting move choice. Probably won't help you too much against what else I have left on my team, but it's something, I guess. And what is your next Pokemon? Going to a Steelix, okay. Well, if you're gonna use a Sandstorm, let's use a Pokemon that will not take damage from it. <laughs> Ooh, Quick Claw coming in play, nice. I think that's it for that Steelix there. Sturdy, seriously. Even with the critical hit, too, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and your sturdy. Oh, crap. Can I take that? Just barely. Okay, Twisted Dimensions return to normal. I should be able to finish that off. Let's go for Brine. You know what? I kind of want to see how much damage a Brine will do to his last Pokemon. Which I think it probably also has Sturdy, but 
Yeah, he has Bastion on. Oh, what's this? My last one? I didn't get a chance to read all your text, but I love Bastion! Alright, let's go for Brine there. Wow, that didn't even do, like, half as much as I expected it to. That's just the power of Bastion on... Thunderbolt! Okay then, odd move that I wasn't really expecting, but sure, I guess. <sighs> I wish the sandstorm would die down here a bit, but... Alright, let's try this. Nice, nice! <laughs> Four times super effective, and that ended up working. Good job, Rex Rocker. <laughs> My sturdy Pokemon defeated. Strong enough to take down my prize team of Pokemon. In recognition of that power, I give you this, the Mind Badge. I really need to clean these dang badges here. The Mind Badge enables you to use hidden str move strength from your Poketch. You now have six gym badges. Pokemon up to level 70 will obey you without question. You can get some stickers. Nice. TM91s. This is one of my favorite moves in the game, and I was so pissed in the original game where you could only get this once. Because there's a lot of great steel types that can learn this. And now I have no hesitation teaching this to my steel type. Flash Cannon. Very powerful steel type attack. Does Empoleon need this move? Probably not, but you know what? It's a strong attack. I think it's also going to be very useful in the area going forward. Like, I'm not using... Actually, yeah, let's give her a Metal Claw for that. It's a better move than Metal Claw in almost every way. Has a chance of lowering special defense. Steel's not the best type offensively, but it is good against fairy types, which are slightly new to this, although I don't think I'm going to be running into any Clefables anytime soon. I guess there was the Azumarill I just fought, but it's not like I'd be using Empoleon to fight an Azumarill here. Anyways. Oh, hey, Barry. Hey, that's the Mind Badge. Good going. You're even... Tough enough to take a shot at becoming the champion. Of course, I'm tougher, so that's actually not happening. Anyways, uh, come meet me at the library. Alright. Let me go heal up first. Not that I need to heal for what we're, we have coming up, but... Might as well. I'm gonna take a sip of my tea. Please keep quiet. Well, that's probably not going to happen where we're heading here. Hey, Zach, over here, this way. Oh, the king's all here. Okay, Gramps, I'm right. Zach, like I said, now I'm out of here. Oh, come on, stay. Okay, I get it. Hmm, everyone's finally here. Listen up. I've forgotten already, but I studied the evolution of Pokemon. The more I study, the more mysteries appear and multiply. There are some Pokemon that evolve and others that don't. Makes them different from each other. Do mature ones evolve into ones that are more mature? So, what do we make of the legendary Pokemon that don't evolve? We'd assume that legendary Pokemon of Sinnoh are complete as creatures? This is where you three come in. There are said to be a mysterious Pokemon in each of the three lakes of Sinnoh. If we can obtain data on them, it may shed some light on how we process a Pokemon evolution works. Need help from 
each one of you on this grand undertaking. Help me find these mysterious Pokemon. What are you saying? I didn't get a Pokedex. Who was it that bottle from the lab before I had a chance to give them one? Let's water under the bridge. Seeing Pokemon with your own eyes is important for you to become a better trainer, too. You can count on me. He'll help me with my Pokedex, too. Zack, won't you? You'll go, too, won't you? Hmm. I would have made all you go regardless. Now then, there are three lakes. Fortunately, there are three of you. You should split up and investigate the lakes individually. Don, you go to Lake Verity. Will do. Barry, I want you to investigate Team Acuity. Take you almost to Snow Point City. The road there is harsh. I need a tough trainer to go. Uh, yeah, of course, Gramps. You know what I call it. You can tell him the hottest. That leaves you, Zack, with Lake Valor. The lake between Veilstone and Pastoria, if memory serves. Has it stopped? Are all of you unharmed? Let's go outside, but be careful. I'm concerned for the city. Well, that was a surprising shock. Zack, hurry along, but beware of aftershocks. Oh, this line. <laughs> oh, a tremor. That wasn't a natural occurrence. Hey, hey, old dude and kid, something big just happened. <laughs> this is probably, like, one of the funniest lines in this game. <laughs> old dude and kids. <laughs> Saying a huge explosion at Lake Valor. Kaboom! Like that. I'm going to the lake. I have a bad feeling about this. <clears throat> that Barry can't keep still. Zack, I'm worried about Lake Valor. However, I have no idea what is taking place. You must find out. There you go. I can't stress this enough. Don't get in over your head. We'll try to join you as soon as we inspect Lake Verity. You'll be okay, won't you, Zack? I'd sure hope so, Don. I'd sure hope so. If there's any trouble, don't do anything rash. I'll try not to. I'll write that down for in a bit. Alright, so our next objective is in Valor Lakefront, so let's uh, make our way down that way, I guess. Thinking about it now, I kind of want to check and see if Chansey gets anything on level 1. I don't think it does, but I could be wrong. Or not Chansey, uh, Blissey, I mean. Uh, you have a lot of moves here. Nothing I really want to teach, though. Dancing there, Blissey. You keep dancing. It just mirrored to this area get really dark all of a sudden. Like, I don't think that's a time of day thing. I don't think it is anyway. And I don't. I don't remember this part of the game having anything to do with that, but it's... maybe it did. I I actually don't remember this area getting this like pitch black here because of this. I don't I don't think it's a time of day thing because it's only four quarter to five right now. So hmm. Anyways, they wanted us to go check out the lake here. I 
Not the music we would expect to hear here. Oh, snap, it's Team Galactic. What are you clowns doing here? Ha <laughs> next stop, Lake Verity. Seeing the civilization out there that is Hick Town Twinleaf, we can roll in there completely unopposed. Don't be dissing my hometown like that. I, I've always kind of felt weird whenever people, like, I come from a very small town, and like, I've heard some weird people describe things about my small town before, and like, I always take weird offense whenever some people, like, either diss my town or whatnot. I've heard some people call it, like, a jock town in recent times, which I never really thought about, but I mean, I guess kind of. I'm just like, I mean, you say that, but I mean, I kind of grew up here and live here, and this is kind of my town, you know? I'm a glammy now. I actually could probably give Blissey its own screen time here. Yeah, it's level 33. Maybe not quite yet for Blissey, but And Krogunk. Okay, that definitely not using Blissey for, but... I have a different Johto Pokemon that'll work way better for that. Useful and how much use I'm getting out of Pluck of All Attacks. Like, if only freaking. I don't know if Crobat can learn acrobatics in this game or not, but if it could get that, that'd be beautiful for it. Also, look at all of these Magikarp. I mean, Team Galactic has no use for Magikarp, worthless, all of them. Never know, one of these could eventually become a Gyarados. Which carp is weakly flopping about. <laughs> oh, God bless these magic carps. I don't think there's any hidden items in this area because you can only come here the one time. At least, like, when it's destroyed like this, so... I don't think there's anything hidden in this area. Go that. I feel like that stuff is starting to slowly catch up to our levels here a bit. And also, I don't think that many of our Pokémon were... At, le at least in the party I'm using right now, none of our Pokémon were higher than Byron's Bastiodon, so... It's pretty good. Alright. Uh, wrong Pokémon, but sure, you know what, Empoleon can deal with this. Let's give it a taste of our new flash cannon attack. I kind of wish in the game's flash cannon wasn't just like a little ball of energy. In the anime, it's like an actual, like, full-fledged beam attack, but it's... Yeah, and the game's not quite as much. Oh, okay, you are a trainer here. It'd be nice if this thing had dry skin for an ability. 
Actually, it might. Entei grew to 39, not bad. And Dust Ox. Yeah, sure, let's stick in with that. Getting some nice use out of Ponyta here, which is pretty good. I know I know for so many people they think Ponyta's hard to use because it takes such a long time to evolve, but I've really enjoyed using it in this game. I think that's something I will give the later Pokemon games credit for, is that I think it is easier to use Pokemon even if they take a lot longer to evolve. It also just helps that... Well, I was gonna say it helps that moves like Flamethrower are, e are easier to get in this, but I haven't really... Like, I didn't teach a flamethrower until earlier here. Ooh, heal pulse. That could be useful. It's a healing pulse that restores the target's HP by up to half its. Okay, I have to look that up about Heal Pulse here. I forget if... Okay, yeah, it looks like... I'm pretty sure Healing Pulse heals the opponent's HP. Which isn't really something I want. I already have life to on it anyways, so... I remember when I played Sword, I ended up using... I ended up using both a... I used two things that took a really long time to evolve. I think it was, yeah, it was Applin and Snom. I started, I used Applin because when I saw that it was a Grass and Dragon type, I was like, this could be really interesting. And... It just sits in your PC or party for like, like three towns because it's not able to battle well at all until it evolves. And Snom, I think I had that in my party for like the second half of the game before I finally evolved it. Because that evolves, I think it's happiness at nighttime, I believe. And I was, I remember I was up to like almost three in the morning in a call with some friends and waiting for that thing to evolve. Okay. I'm gonna check one thing because I thought... Yeah, we do have a charcoal. Yeah, let's give that to Ponyto. I don't see why not. What do you want? You want the nitwits that we fooled into guarding the entrance? It doesn't matter who you are, it's too late to make a difference. Things are gonna get really interesting now. Legendary Pokemon are gonna be brought to our headquarters in Vale Stone City. Ooh. Interesting. Hello, who are you? Mission is proceeding without a hitch. The boss should be pleased. Everything is for everyone, for the good of Team Galactic. I recognize your face. You're the child rated Team Galactic building in Eterna City. <laughs> Jupiter should be ashamed of herself being beaten by a child like that. But anything and anyone that opposes Team Galactic must be crushed. Even the very thought of the opposition will not be tolerated. Yep, we got a Galactic Commander. We got Saturn here.
Oh, he starts with Kadabra. Okay. Not the Pokemon I thought he started with. I thought he started with his Bronzor. I actually forgot this guy even had a Kadabra, now that I think about it. Oh, for Flame Charge here. Nice. He's going for Reflect, that's fine. I'm pretty sure he does have a Bronze Ore here, so... That's why I was... Keeping Ponyta here, at bay here. Yep, okay, he does have a Bronze Ore. This should be very quick work, unless this thing is heat proof, but I don't think it does. I feel like almost all Bronzors you fight in the main story of this have Levitate, but I could be mistaken about that one. And his last Pokemon is just is Toxicroak. I don't even really want to deal with this thing, because this could be definitely the nastiest thing on his team if it wants to be. Alucard, get out here, and my battery is low. Really? Well, I guess I'll need to grab a charger in a second. Let's hope Pluck works. That did next to nothing. I'm actually really shocked that that did as little as it did there. Even if we are the same level here. Up. Oh, that's why. I forgot he had that reflect up there. Alright, well, that'll help then. I f always forget the passive of reflect sometimes. And, unless I'm mistaken, I think we got something special coming up here. You, my friend, are tough. I can see why you defy us, so... We have something special? Yep. Our little pony is finally evolving. And to the thing its namesake will make a lot more sense here. <laughs> there we go, there's our Rapidash. Rapidash is a cool Pokemon. Very fast fire type. Smart Strike! Hello! This is a really elusive move that a lot of my friends and I make fun of, because a lot of Pokemon get this that you wouldn't expect. I'll teach Smart Strike. That's a pretty good move for it. Even I, a commander, only managed to buy us time. But that's fine, a child like you will never be able to stem the flow of time. Team Galactic will get the three legendary Pokemon of the lakes. With their power, will create an entirely new universe. By now, Mars should have captured the Pokemon of Lake Verity. Uh-oh, sounds like Don and the Professor might be in trouble. We should definitely go help them. I like how it still plays the peaceful lake music, even though this place is clear as day destroyed. Alright, so the game does want us to go back to Lake Verity. Yeah, let's head back to Twin Leaf Town. I'm gonna grab a charger here, which I think is... Actually, I'm flying back to Pastoria because there was one thing I wanted to check before before going further, which would have been would have been this house. Get 
So I wanted to see what Rapid Ash got. Mega Horn and Poison Jab. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I want Mega Horn. <laughs> I really want Mega Horn. That is a good attack. <laughs> oh, what a delete though. Oh, what a delete for that. Flame Wheel is stronger. I think I am going to get rid of Flame Wheel. Flame Charge is weaker, but it does give you the speed buff there. Mega Horn's a great bug attack. Very great bug attack. I feel like I'm going to be using Flamethrower as my main fire attack, even though Brapidash is a physical attacker. There's not that much of a difference in its attacking stats there, and I think the extra power would be nicer for Flamethrower there. But Mega Horn, man, that is a good move for it. Poison Jab would be good for it too, actually. It's just that I don't think Poison Jab really covers too many things that I couldn't already cover. Plus, I have a Poison type already, so... Actually... Okay, that doesn't seem too close to hatching yet. And while I'm thinking about it, I want to go to Salaceon and maybe see what the... The Pokemon is for the day. I swear to god, it better not be a Ponyta, because... Vespiquen. I think I do have... I'm I do have a Vespiquen. Yeah. Dust Balls. Nice. Oh, and actually, I need to update the graphic on here, too. A lot of our team is all growing up now. Water here. Although I don't think you can actually like I don't think there's any items in that area there. So what TV show were you seeing that had a chancy on there? Let me have a look at that. Alright. We haven't done a contest in a little while. We could probably look into doing one of those here in the near future. I'm thinking maybe giving Ch Blissey a shot to shine here, because I feel like it's probably going to be fine for this. Possibly. I don't think anything in this area could one-shot it. Ah, Zack, what timing? Those Team Galactic Scoundrels are after the legendary Pokemon. You gotta help Dawn. Ow, ouch, what's with this old timer? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna need some doubles here. Uh, let's throw Alucard in for that. If there's any Pokemon that could definitely, like, be fast and take care of stuff before it needs to be. It's definitely him. Lamiao and Silcoon. Like, see, in this situation here, I'm gonna attack that Silcoon with Flamethrower. There's no if ands, or buts about that. And let's go for Cross Poison on Glamio. Not bad. Also, fitting enough, we're using our new egg Pokemon on what some people deem the egg holiday. Easter is pretty much around the corner here. It's technically Good Friday today, so... Got Stunky and Glammeow. Ah, 
Oh. Okay, well, I'm glad it attacked that and not Blissey there. <laughs> Do you mind? I never realized how annoying poison gas is in double battles. Like, I've seen that a good bit in this game. Because I never realized it hit both Pokemon in a, in a double battle. Nice crit. Nice crit, you old bat. I see nothing is bothering to attack Blissey here. That's pretty good. And I don't have to deal with that Aftermath ability. Yeah, we're, we're getting to be at the point now where we're starting to get a lot of good stuff in our early 40s. Like, um... Obviously, Ponyta's evolution was a big thing. Um, I know... Uh, Rhyhorn's gonna be evolving here in the near future. Which, that's gonna be a pretty cool sight to behold. Um... Gallade's gonna learn Psycho Cut in the near future, which is very nice. Yeah, a lot of just really cool team changes are finally happening that... You could say I've kind of needed to happen for a while, but we're at a good point now where stuff is going to happen. Not bad with that Ice Beam there. I think Pluck could probably finish it from that range anyway. Yeah. Man, I love using Crobat. <laughs> Rex Rocker grew to 40, not bad. And ooh, takedown. You have and you have Rockhead for your ability? Yeah, why not? It'll it'll stay as Rockhead until it's fully evolved, so yeah, there's no downside to learning a move like uh Takedown. Whirlpool. How about no? Let's not. Too young to understand. Alright. Ah, <sighs> what can I heal with? Well, first things first, I'm getting rid of that poison there. Oh, antidote. Man, Blissey just has so much health. It easily has the most health out of any Pokemon on my team. I, I'm saying that, and I know it has the most health out of any Pokemon, period, but it's definitely something that can take a hit if it needs to. Unlock your Pokemon into orbit. You can try that and see what happens. Stunky and beautiful eye. Stunky's just an annoying Pokemon to deal with. It only has one weakness, which is ground. It has a really annoying ability and can also take hits if it needs to. Oh, nice. Everything avoided that air cutter. Yeah, let's take that out, and... It's a beautiful eye with pluck there. Let's go to finish Stunkies off with special attacks, just because that ability is really annoying on them. Freaking Aftermath.
Yeah, like, that was a special attack that it hit there, and you can see just how little damage that did to my Blissey there. <laughs> oh, it's a great, great special wall. Cats here. God. Why did saying the word cats just make me think of that movie? Which I shouldn't be thinking of, but I am. Oh, Jesus, that. Ew. Alright. Alright. Yeah, it's a good thing that Retaliate didn't do as much as you probably wanted it to. <laughs> you know what, let's get some healing out of this here. Even if I have to take a hit this turn, there's no way you're... Oh, well, you're doing a lot of damage to me there, but... It, that's why. I guess it probably didn't make up the he much healing as I was hoping for there. Oh, well, Crobat's gonna finish this this turn anyway, so... Dis random Discord notifications am I gonna get right now? Yeah, good for your mind going orbital. <laughs> okay, this next battle could be annoying here. I want to say... I want to say she's going to lead off with a... Golbat, because she lived with a Zubat last time, I think. Let's, let's lead with Empoleon, I guess. That's probably a good thing to lead off with here. Zack, it's t t Team Galactic. Oh no, the Pokemon of the Lake. Oh yeah, this the Chibi Mars. I remember this scene now. That face, it brings back bad memories. I'm talking about the Valley Woodworks, I caught a lot of trouble for that little incident. It's that look on your face, do you remember me, don't you? Fine, whatever, I'll tell you who I am. I'm Mars of Galactic <laughs> That face is just... <sighs> How cute you think you can save the day in your little game of hero? Not a chance, not even a teeny one. You're all going down. God bless you, Chibi Mars. Alright, I was right that you were leading with a Golbat there, and Empoleon doesn't actually have Ice Beam, but I'm not worried about a Golbat. Napoleon's still a great Pokemon. I really do like this one a lot. Yeah, I like all the you know starters quite a lot. Hailfire's thirty-two, not bad. Helping hand. That could have been useful in the battles we just had, but I don't see it being useful now. There's a bronze ore. Um, you know what? Let's, uh, I don't think we've seen Entei since evolution yet. Let's do this. Let's send our newly evolved horse out into battle here. This disc has, has probably seen way better days than this. Yeah, 
And probably there was the thing that she used on us last time. So let's let's send out our Rhyhorn here. Maybe not the best option for this, but you know what? Let's do it. Drill run, let's go. <laughs> yeah, you're going for U-turn, like that's gonna help you too much. Not a bad first attack. Let's go for Rock Blast. Citrus Berry, really? I don't think this Progly has much that it can do to my Rhyhorn, though, thankfully. Four times, alright. I'll go for Drill Run. No, you're lowering my stats even further. I really should just go for Curse right now. Yeah, go for U turn one more time. I'm just gonna Gurren log on you anyway, so what difference does that make? <laughs> Senses I never thought I'd say for 200, there. Yeah, you definitely lost again. So first it was Valley Wind Works, and now it's like, Verity, I owe you four. This shouldn't be happening to a Team Galactic Commander. Calm down, Mars. Done my part in this. My mission was to transport the Lakes Pokemon to our headquarters. That's right, I accomplished my mission without a problem. Team, we're pulling out the bosses waiting at the headquarters. I thought Mars had a, like, cheesy dialogue about, like, something about, like, a lovey-dovey couple between the like, Don and Lucas, but I guess that's maybe only in Platinum? I, I don't remember. It would be nice if Don could have helped us out in that battle, but oh well. Another legendary Pokemon was taken away by Team Galactic. Both of you went up against full-fledged criminals. The fact you're unharmed is reason enough to celebrate. But a good Lake Acuity is very safe. Zach, what's Team Galactic up to? Pokemon they took from the lake's gonna be okay? Well, we could go find that out, or I think we could go mess around and do some side things because it's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday, everybody's looking forward to the weekend, weekend, Friday, Friday, kicking down on Friday. And I should gr get something that I can catch something with here because this could be a little awkward. But yeah, now that we have strength, and now that it's Friday, there's a few things we can do in this area. Oh. What do I have that's around, like, level 20 or so? This Gastrodon maybe might help. This is Quagsire, no. Mistaste, no. That's not helping at all. There's a Pokemon I'm catching that's kind of elusive that's around level 20 or so. I think it would be nice to try and catch. Not something I want to use my team or anything, but... It might be nice. Uh, let's... Maybe this Tentacruel? You know what, let's just grab this thing. The egg in there for now. And I guess while I'm thinking about it, I can turn off the auto save. It's not like this is a one time thing, but I just figured I'd try and catch this thing since I am streaming on a Friday. If it Valley Wind works, hello. It's just a balloon out here. Floon! <laughs> like how 
Blissey was just running up there. Yep, you can find Drifloon here on Friday. It's, uh, this is the only way to get it otherwise, and that's basically that. Oh, crap, I'm really one level under this. Oh, jeez. Well, this Quick Ball's not catching then. Or I could Critical Capture it? Really? Okay. I'll take a Critical Capture. I don't have too many plans to use this Drifloon, but you know what? It's a cool Pokemon. I did want to catch it anyway. Didn't actually need to use that. Um, yeah, that's probably fine there. God, I, I forgot how much I love this song. Hellfire seems happy. Well, we did just catch a new Pokemon, so... Can't really fault you too much there. Actually, let's throw Glade in my party now that I'm thinking about it. There is one thing I would like to try and... Maybe catch here. Uh, I can throw Entei in the PC for now. <laughs> yeah, there's something that gets opened up once he gets strength that... I would like to try and see if I can get. That's, and uh, something else that I don't really plan on using, although it honestly probably wouldn't be too bad of a fit for my team either. But, I don't know, it might be a little redundant with a certain other Pokemon I have in my party. Really, like, I, I still haven't really decided on my last Pokemon. Um, I've had an idea in mind, I just, I don't remember there being a country here. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> I don't think I knew that was there, actually. <laughs> yeah, there's one Pokemon I had in mind that... I don't know if it's, like... The, mo the easiest thing to use or not. And probably not the easiest thing to get, but I just think the typing would kind of align up with my party. I more or less want to add either a... A uh, bug type, a dark type, or a dragon type to my team, because I think those are like the only three types I'm really missing right now. So. My options for that basically come down between. Um, I was considering Altaria, which we could very easily use, because I have a Swablu in my PC that was kind of in our party for a little bit. Um, we have a Pokemon that we're coming up on pretty soon. There's a certain dark type that I consider, but I, again, it's, it's something I wouldn't mind using, but I don't know how easy it is to get. Anyways, in this area here, there's a secret cave. And you need strength to get through here. In Platinum version, you did not need strength, which... Let you get the riches way earlier in that game, and let me tell you, the riches were overpowered as heck for the early point you could get them. There is a special Pokemon you can find here, and it is not Bronzor. Actually, Ardo, you might know this here. The Pokemon I'm considering is the one for the odd keystone. Is that still just talk to, like, a certain number of, po of people in the underground? Or is that, like... I heard somebody say you might have needed to talk to everyone in the underground. I don't know how true that is. I know in the old days it used to be 32, I think, you needed to talk to underground.
Because honestly, that Pokemon in particular, like, I actually think would be kind of neat to try and use. Alright, just do that. I have a little bit of a bike puzzle here. I'm not putting a Repel up because there is a new Pokemon you can find in this area, and it's a pretty unique one. Something that's only found in this area. I meant to go full tilt there. There's the new thing, that's a gibble. I'll try the quick ball, and if that doesn't work, I'll probably use false swipe on this thing. Nope, of course not. Gibble is an interesting Pokemon, though, it's a ground and dragon type. It's usually seen as among the best Pokemon in the game once it's fully evolved, I just... I don't know, I kind of want to do something a little different. Oh, did it just use Takedown? Okay, no, never mind. I thought it, that's what it went for there. Um, I could go for a Dusk Ball. You know what, sure, why not? Just got some of these. Nice. Now then, I will put up a repel because this area can be kind of annoying otherwise. <laughs> Grip Claw. That could be maybe nice if my Ponytus or my Rapidash still knew Fire Spin, which it doesn't, so never mind, it's not nice at all. Take a revive, that's pretty nice. Right. And for heading all the way down here, I think there's a hidden item in one of these walls here. No, okay. No. Maybe not. But what is very nice here, TM26 Earthquake. Very good move. I do wish TMs were infinite use in this game because that would have been super useful right now. I would have totally taught that to... Rhyhorn right now if that were the case and probably whatever other physical attackers I had on my team that could learn that but it's not quite the case unfortunately so we'll just kind of have to make do with that I don't really mind I'm not gonna teach that to Rhyhorn right now because it does learn that eventually it might not be for a while yet, but it does learn it eventually. Okay, um... I wasn't really thinking about going up north this stream, because that really will be a stream in of itself, I think. Because that does take a fair bit of time. Actually, I was gonna... Yeah, I was gonna go to Hardhome City to check one thing here. Maybe at some point I wouldn't mind trying to look at maybe doing like a Pokedex stream or something, work on maybe completing the Pokedex out. I don't think I've ever really done that for Gen 4, but I think it would be kind of fun maybe to do that at some point too.
Okay, yeah, I did get the keystone. I thought I did, because I usually do get that anytime I'm here. You normally talk to that guy, and then put the, he puts the keystone in the... Or he gives you the keystone, which you can put in the old tower there. There's a special Pokemon that can show up for doing this. Otherwise, I guess it might be an underground adventure, maybe, for a little bit, because... Actually, you know what? Let's, let's hatch that egg. I do have an egg here that could probably be hatched. It was occasion occasionally, that could be very nice. I probably spent so much of my life just going up and down this dang stretch of land here. Like, raise your hand if you've, like, spent so much of your time in this game and probably other Pokemon games too, but just especially this game, just going up and down this route constantly. Because I used to do that all the time when I played these games. longer is that egg gonna take to hatch? That egg should be hatching any minute now, I would think. There we go. Let's hatch that egg. It is a little real loo. It reminds me of something else I think we can get now that we have Surf, I think, but... Yep, real loo is... Basically just a fighting type. Can evolve into something really cool, but yeah. Check some of these other things about the Pokemon we caught here. Uh, not a great nature for Gibble. That's oh Adamant Riolu. That could actually be really good. 
That's actually really good nature for it. Wow. <laughs> Uh, who else? Let's add Lady Gaga to my party, I guess. Our team's definitely looking a lot more well-rounded for now. And we got a little bit of time. I guess we could do as we usually do and mess around in the underground. Uh, come on. updated in here probably not but never know if stuff updates in this place there's more houndooms there's a ponyta a lot of stuff we've definitely seen before I mean, nice to know where like certain trainers spawn in the underground <laughs> Got Krugly here. Yeah, I guess nothing too, too out of the ordinary here. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be anything I'm going to find in the underground that I don't really already have, unfortunately, but if there was, it would be nice. It's a random wild mischievous. Okay. I'm actually just looking up something here, and apparently in the underground you have to... In order for the thing to spawn in that I was thinking of, you have to talk to, I guess, 32 unique people, which that could definitely be something that probably isn't gonna realistically happen, so yeah, that's probably not the... Maybe not the wisest of ideas. Maybe not one of the easier ones. There was a hippopotamus in there. I hate that I walked in left and whatnot. Let's catch one of these things, because these are not the easiest things to come across otherwise. They, required, they would require catching a lot of unknowns. A 
lot of unknown variables. And I'm probably not going to catch it because I think this... Why do the underground catch rate suck so much? Also, did that thing just earthquake me? Forty-two. I don't have anything in my party that's that high of a level. Ugh, crap. Yeah, stuff's gonna be too high to probably catch at this point. Well, that's annoying as. Still trying to decide what might be like a fun final Pokemon to use. It's almost everything I would really think of is probably locked to the post game, I think. Which is kind of awkward. Also, yeah, these hippopotases, they're uh gender determines the color these are females here. I remember the anime made like a really weird blunder where there was an episode with a hip out on which is this thing's evolution and it basically said like it was going on that like this hip out on was like the mother of a recurring hippopotas but it was clearly the male gender colors and it's just like how did you guys mess that one up? I hate that just because, like, a Pokemon can be a higher level means that you're likely not catching it. Come on, I want to catch a Hippo. I hate that I have to sit through all of these, like, Sandstream animations, too. Oh, God. Let me get this Pachirisu out of my PC here, just so I can actually stand a chance catching this thing. After this, I should not have any problem catching a hippo. Ooh, I can find Magby here now. I don't think I have a Magby, do I? I don't think I have a Magby. No, I don't. Magby Mortar would have been kind of fun to use, actually. Or, I'm not gonna replace ponytail for that. This thing isn't even that high of a level, come on! I do like Magby's final evolve form quite a bit, although I don't think I'd be able to use that until in the pulse game anyway. Which is a little unfortunate, but it's... I don't think that's true. I've seen people use Magmortar and Electivire in these games. I think maybe if you catch a Magby underground, it can come holding that, I think. I could be mistaken about that, but I seem to remember that being the case. Oh, pfft, case in point, yeah. It can definitely come holding a Magmarizer, which would actually be a very nice item for it. Because then you can get a Magmortar, which is a great Pokemon. It's cool, and it's fat, and it's surprisingly fast, and... Learns a lot of great moves you wouldn't expect it to be able to learn, like it can learn Thunderbolt and Psychic and just a whole bunch of great stuff. It's 
pretty great. Come on, can I find another hippo here, please? Ponytail. It would probably be a good idea to catch one of those here just because they do evolve, they would evolve very soon, but we already have a rapid ash on our party, so. Can I find another? There we go, there's another Hippopotas. <laughs> Come here, you slow moving hippo. Now, I shouldn't have too much trouble catching you with a quick ball here. Knowing my luck, I still will, but I can try it. I hope I don't get hit by an earthquake here with a electric type. Wrong item! Aw, oh, crap. That's not good. <laughs> Thank God, that was lucky. I meant to throw the quick ball. Also... That's some heavy rain coming down right now. Bob and Hailfire grew some levels. Very nice. We got a hippo. I really do wonder what would make for a good final Pokemon on the team here that wouldn't really overlap too many types that I have and I think would actually just kind of suit the team well. I'm not really sure what what I would think of with that. I'll do some thinking anyway. I'll try and see like what's available in this game here. Oh. Okay, that was everything there. Interesting. We still haven't really done much of anything in the way of, like, building a secret base or anything. Steelix statue, nice. Do want that heart scale? There we go. Glad I got that when I did. Heart scales are very nice. Box. Not too shabby. Garchomp statue, that is Gibble's final of all form. The fastest and strongest Pokemon in this game.
I'll take this green shard. Or not. Didn't that thing say there was four things in the wall there? Because I could not get a single thing from that. That's just really sad. Oh, there's something here. Max revive? Okay. I didn't even know you could find those in here. Interesting find. Take that pale sphere, I guess. statue. Okay, then. there. I'm gonna try one thing here. I'm gonna look at one... thing with the Grand Underground. I want to say, with the Grand Underground, you're able to play with... I think you can just play with randoms. I thought that was a feature of it, but I could be mistaken about that. Oh, okay, so I suddenly join in a thing when... Okay, I suddenly joined in a thing where everyone has Max Diglets here. Bobo has returned to the surface. Is there? Hmm. Since I have the rainbow thing here, the, the rainbow thing increases the odds of a shiny Pokemon, but it's still like a one in a thousand chance of finding something here, so the odds of me finding a shiny here are probably slim to none, but it could be something, I guess. Well, I found a trainer here. And it reset. Of course it did. I wanna just talk with this guy, though. Because apparently if I talk to, like, 32 unique people, then... I should be able to get the thing I'm looking for, I think. This would probably take like a whole stream in of itself before I would actually be able to, I guess, do the thing that I was kind of looking forward to doing. Eh. 
And it seems like Buddy is too infatuated with battles, and I can't even seem to get a hold of anyone. That's gonna be fun. Feels like tunnels are getting wider, okay. I've probably talked to that person already, knowing my luck, but... Coco has entered the Grand Underground. A lot of Gravelers in this area. The thing with the Underground is that, like, a lot of people probably have, like beaten the game by now and have access to a lot of better stuff in their undergrounds. So... I'm able to help this person out here. I get there soon enough? Or there's just a secret base here. Sure, why not? Let's go inside someone's secret base. Uh, case in point, they have a bunch of <laughs> legendaries. And just strong stuff in this area in general. <laughs> Does that affect anything in this area, I wonder? Or... There's a quagsire. Thing is, I think because I finish, or because I, like, I'm only a so far throughout the game, I don't think it would really impact what stuff shows up in this area here. A lot of Pachirisu's in this area. I've been asked about using Pachirisu before and I'm like, I already have Luxray on my team. There's a great Pokemon you can find in the Marshlands area, ironically, because it's not something that I would associate with that area, but... So I'm surprised there's not more Diglets being shown off here. Yeah, this person's of course in a battle with something here. Here's me getting attacked by a lot of stuff. Well, fortunately, I should be able to run away from this. I'm feeling this underground plan right now. There's probably realistically nothing I could really catch in this area that I would really want to use right now.
<sighs> Blaze Score Statue, very cool Pokemon. That is not the easiest thing to use in the base game of this. Because I think you can, you can find Gligar in this, but not the item needed for, like, its evolution. It's a combi there, but I don't know what gender. I'm trying to get around these trees here and running into Shinx's. if I can talk with some random trainers here. Well, it looks like there's a number of trainers in this area here, I think. Alright. Small bit of shards there, I guess. This person here. I think you can t interact with random trainers like this. I think. I don't see why you couldn't, because that's how you were able to do things in the original games. Then again, in the original, it didn't have to be, like, 32 different people. You could just kind of leave, go down, and go back up again, and... That was kind of all she wrote. That's kind of annoying. I don't really know how much I appreciate that, but it's, it's a thing, alright. Yeah, maybe this underground plant's kind of a bust. I'll just see what's in some of these caves here, but otherwise I think we're probably about ready to call it a stream here then. Probably won't have too many more of these underground streams. I know when I, know when I played Brilliant Diamond, this was the point where I settled on my last couple team members. Because one of them... Oh, well, that's a female. Call me there. Interesting. Um, one of them was... Uh, I caught a swine up around this time, which you can find in like the marshy parts of the underground. And, uh. Remoraid, which I think you can just find by 
fishing with a good rod, I think. I'm pretty sure that's all that Pokemon is, is just fishing with a good rod. I liked using Octillery and Mammal Swine, but there's another Swablu there. I don't really need to catch one, though. Pinsir is one of the things I was considering for a little while. I feel like it's pretty much down to Pinsir and Swablu for what I'm like loosely considering for the rest of my team here. I didn't want to get into a battle with a random Bidoof. <laughs> I can look at the team later and I guess see kind of what fits the need there, I guess. Like, Pinsir is a cool Pokemon, I won't disagree with that there. I won't, like, object to that or anything, but... a second to realize what that was, but that's just a random lick of tongue. <laughs> Yeah, there's probably not anything I'd need to catch in this underground. I might wait and maybe just see if, like, if they end up finding, like, another couple of Diglett, then the shiny phase might enter. Even though that's still such a rare thing, I'm never going to realistically see anything with that. See a bunch of people are finding Diglets now. Uh, we wait for one more Diglet. I guess two, but yeah. One more. It 
someone just find one more, please? <laughs> nice, something good might happen. Which it's not going to, because it's like, again, a seriously like a one in a thousand of that actually happening. And it only lasts for like, I think like two to three minutes or something. Thing is, I don't think they sh even show up shiny on the overworld, so like, you never really know, I guess. I don't think, anyway. I don't think they show up shiny in this world here, so it's kind of a little hard to tell. I just realized something that makes me feel really, really old thinking about it. I realized it's been pretty near 15 years since Brilliant Diamond, or not Brilliant Diamond, but like the original Diamond and Pearl. It's been about 15 years since those first released in North America. I... Old. Old, 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 old. I feel so old thinking that. <laughs> Let's just try fighting a random pincer here. Yeah, it's not a shiny or anything. If I did find a shiny pincer, that'd be wild. Think. Oh no, the shiny bear is still going here. I'll go until it runs out here, which is probably going to be in like a second now. Nice. Oh, okay, yeah, just, I heard the whistle there, it clears day ended there. Like, what is your summary like here, Pinsir? Quirky nature, so neutral. <laughs> you realize how powerful this is? What the f- Fudge is this move set. This thing literally does not even need anything else. I'm putting this in my 
maybe consideration of what I might might consider. That is powerful beyond all belief there. Anyways, I think we are probably going to call it a stream there. Sorry the ending of this stream has kind of been a little... mulpy, I guess, but... We did make some good progress. We got another gym badge. Um... We actually caught... We evolved two party members here, Blissey and, uh... Rapidash. It was a fun stream. It was a fun stream. Who's right, streaming right now? Let me have a quick look and see. You know what? I think we're gonna raid Odin's back. He's playing Tales of Asperia, raising money for uh, St. Jude. I think let's send some love over his way there. Let's go with that for our raid message and... Send some love over to Odin there. Thanks everyone for kind of tuning in tonight, and I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys down the line. I don't know when my next stream will be. Maybe it might be. Oh, well, I was about to say Saturday, but that's tomorrow. Maybe it might stream tomorrow. I'm not sure. Been wanting to maybe do some more chill and low key streams, so we'll see. Thanks everyone for tuning in, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.